Marcus Conti reporting with some good news for Julian Assange. So you remember back in uh, April 20, April 20, 2018, the DNC filed a federal lawsuit against the Russian Federation, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, uh, Donald Trump Jr., Donald Trump, Roger Stone. Remember that? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, see, they, the DNC is, is historically stupid in filing lawsuits that ultimately backfire on them. And here's one case. So this could be a get out of jail free card for Julian Assange. I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. There is evidence in there that supports uh, England's inability to extradite Julian Assange to the United States. And I'm going to show you exactly what, what I'm finding right now. So again, April 20th, a lawsuit was filed by the DNC. And I now have the, uh, the answer. That judge has answered um, in this uh, case, right? So the answer is in, and it has uh, basically vindicated all parties in the case. The, the case has been, um, I don't know what the term is, but it's been thrown out, dismissed, right? And uh, so let's look at, but let's look at the, 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 <laughs> the pretense to the whole thing. Julian Assange, WikiLeaks. This is the Secretary of State right now, Mike Pompeo, describing what WikiLeaks is. Listen. Individuals such as Julian Assange and Edward Snowden seek to use that information to make a name for themselves. As long as they make a splash, they care nothing about the lives they put at risk or the damage they cause to national security. WikiLeaks walks like a hostile intelligence service and talks like a hostile intelligence service. It has encouraged its followers to find jobs at the CIA in order to obtain intelligence. It's time to call out WikiLeaks for what it really is, a non-state hostile intelligence service often abetted by state actors like Russia. In January of this year, our intelligence community determined that Russian military intelligence, the GRU, had used WikiLeaks to release data of U.S. victims that the GRU had obtained through cyber operations against the Democratic National Committee. So a hostile intelligence service. That's what Mike Pompeo is classifying WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. Now, Julian Assange is a publisher. We know that. But the State Department right, is wrongfully classifying WikiLeaks is a hostile intelligence service. So what? who cares, right? Let's listen to, more recently, Robert Mueller, the genius Robert Mueller of the Robert Mueller Report. Director Pompeo assessed WikiLeaks in one point as a hostile intelligence service. Uh, given your law enforcement experience and your knowledge of what WikiLeaks did here and what they do generally, would you assess that to be accurate or something similar? How would you assess uh, what WikiLeaks does? Uh, absolutely. And they uh, are currently under indictment. Uh, it's Julian really Assange. But would it be fair to describe them as you would agree with Mr. Director Pompeo? That's when he, what he was when he made that remark, that it's a hostile intelligence service, correct? Yes. If we could put up slide six. This just came out, WikiLeaks. I love WikiLeaks. Donald Trump, October 10th, 2016. This WikiLeaks stuff is unbelievable. It tells you the inner heart. You got to read it, Donald. So there's a couple of things going on. So Pompeo is saying hostile intelligence service. Robert Mueller, the base, the, the author, the alleged author of the Mueller report, two-year investigation into Russian intervention in our elections and is calling WikiLeaks a hostile intelligence agency, right? a hostile intelligence service. The guy who, in, who, who was, was, um, was uh, summoned to investigate the Russian interference is calling a publisher a hostile intelligence service. And here you see the president of the United States, Donald Trump, saying, I love WikiLeaks. This WikiLeaks stuff is unbelievable. Another one came in today. This WikiLeaks is a treasure trove, right? Get off the, getting off the plane, they were just announcing new WikiLeaks, but I wanted to stay there, but I didn't want to keep, keep waiting. Boy, I love reading WikiLeaks. So it's the president of the United States saying the opposite. It's not a hostile intelligence service. It's a publisher. He's reading, it's like uh, reading the New York, it's like reading uh, the newspaper. Donald Trump, October 12, 2016. 
This WikiLeaks is like a treasure trove. Donald Trump, October 31st, 2016. Boy, I love reading those WikiLeaks. Donald Trump, November 4th, 2016. Do any of those quotes disturb you, Mr. Director? I'm not certain I would say. Uh, How do you react to that? Uh, well, uh, it's probably tr problematic is, is an understatement. And problematic is an understatement. So, so there you go. So there, what I'm trying to tell you is that the way the, the government is, our government is framing the picture against the case against Julian Assange is that of a hostile intelligence service when he is in fact the publisher. Right? So why is that? Well, why does that matter? So here's the, here's the outcome. Here's the answer. And this is the get out of jail free card. This is how Julian Assange can, can defend himself. Listen to this. U.S. federal court exposes Democratic Party conspiracy against WikiLeaks and Assange. In a ruling published late thir Tuesday, Judge John Colette, Cot Cot Cotal, whatever, of the United States District Court of the Southern District of New York, ah, the frying pan, delivered a devastating blow to the U.S.-led conspiracy against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. In his ruling, the judge, a Bill Clinton nominee and former assistant special prosecutor for the Watergate Special Prosecution Force, dismissed with prejudice a civil lawsuit filed in April 2018 uh, by the Democratic National Committee. I have that, that right here, right? So it's, it's, it's um, the Democratic National Committee suing all of these people, Ru Russian Federation, just pile them on, right? It's everybody, right? Oh, they did this, the computer fraud and abuse and RICO, and the whole shit was thrown out. The whole freaking thing was thrown out. So, with prejudice, a, a uh, Jennifer Robinson, a lead, uh, a leading attorney for Assange and WikiLeaks attorney, welcomed the ruling as a quote important win for free speech. Uh, it's more than just an important win for free speech. It might get Julian Assange out of out of out of the can after he serves his time in Britain for. Bail jumping. He can probably not get extradited based on this ruling. Based on this ruling. The decision exposes the Democratic Party in a conspiracy of its own to attack free speech and cover up the crimes of U.S. imperialism and the corrupt activities of the two parties of Wall Street. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, oh, no, no, Conte, you got it wrong. That's not why Julian Assange is being extradited. He's being extradited because of the stuff that happened with uh, Chelsea Manning in 2012, where, where he gave the, um, the, the Iraqi war files over to, to, uh, to the public. He published the Iraqi war files. I know that. I know the distinction. The one has nothing to do with the other, but it does because of the way this judge has now classified and defined WikiLeaks for, in a judicial setting. A federal judge has defined WikiLeaks as not an intelligence, a hostile intelligence service, but rather a publisher. And that's big because the indictment against Assange alleging that he somehow published uh, war files from 2012 with Chelsea Manning, assisted him in some way, is the, the implication there is that he's a hostile intelligence service and not a publisher. So it so the bottom line is in Britain, if Britain is to extradite Assange based on uh, alleged crimes, it has to be a crime in order for Britain to extradite, to agree to extradite Assange to the United States. And if he's just a publisher publishing information, that is not a crime. So Britain would based on this case, Britain would not really have a, a, a right to extradite Assange on a bogus indictment, in, uh, uh, an indictment that's clearly bogus based on a, uh, on, a, on a federal judge's decision in the United States. So now we have precedence for WikiLeaks not being a hostile intelligence service. Listen. If WikiLeaks could be held liable for publishing documents concerning the DNC's political, financial, and voter 
engagement strategies simply because the DNC labels them, quote, secret and trade secrets, then so could any newspaper or any or other media outlet. But that would be impermissibly, that would impermissibly elevate a purely private privacy interest to override the First Amendment interest in the publication of matters of highest public concern. The DNC's published internal communications allowed the American electorate to look behind the curtain of one of two major political parties in the United States during a presidential election. This type of information is plainly of the type entitled to the strongest protection that the First Amendment offers. Pow! So, freedom of speech, he's, he's calling them... He's calling them. He's not calling them a publisher here. Let's look at the actual, uh, the actual ruling. So here's the ruling. It came in July 30th, and it's a Democratic National Committee against Russian Federation. Everybody, including Assange. So on page three, it says, the DNC seeks to hold the second level uh, participant in this allegation, the campaign, the campaign defendants, WikiLeaks, Assange blah, 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 liable for dissemination of stolen materials. But, as also explained below, the First Amendment prevents such liabilities in the same way it would preclude liability for press outlets that publish materials of public interest despite the facts in the way the materials were obtained so long as the disseminator did not participate in any wrongdoing in obtaining the materials in the first place. The plausible allegations against the remaining defendants are insufficient to hold them liable for the the illegality that occurred in obtaining the materials from the DNC. Therefore, for the reasons explained below, the defendant's motion to dismiss the second amended complaint is granted. So, motion dismissed. Now, there's there's one other line in this. I didn't go through the whole thing, but there's some really good zingers in here. Uh, where the judge defines WikiLeaks as a publisher, not a hostile, hostile, ha 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 hostile. Uh, um, here, right here, June June twelfth, two thousand sixteen. Julian Assange, the founder and publisher of WikiLeaks, appeared on a British television show and stated that WikiLeaks had obtained, quote, leaked materials concerning the Democratic presidential candidate and would be released, releasing them soon. WikiLeaks, quote, WikiLeaks is an international news organization of unknown structure that operates a website, WikiLeaks.org, on which it publishes, publishes leaked or stolen confidential and classified information. So, so what, what it's basically saying is it's slam dunk, right? If the attorneys in, if Julian Assange's attorneys hear this, all you have to do is get a copy of the, get a copy of the answer, right? Here it is. Here's the judge's answer, right? Just, right? here it is. Here's the, here's the, uh, here's the, the here's the, the code, whatever. Just drop this into Google and you'll get it, Right? There it is, right? So this is the this is the judge's answer. It's signed. It's sealed. Right? Signed, sealed? No, <laughs> it's not signed, sealed. It's over here. Right? I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong page. So that's that's one. But here's the answer, and just and just look up this right here. Just drop it in. This is the case number right here. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Anybody wants to read the case? Read the judge's the good judge's answer. It's right there. Case. 118 CV blah 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 just drop that into the drop that into Google type it into Google and you'll get the case you'll get the answer uh, so let's continue with this uh, article the ruling exposes the illegality of the conspiracy by the United States government backed by the government of Britain uh, um, to extradite Assange to the US where he faces 175 years in prison on charges including espionage so let's look at that one here's here's the case against Assange. The United States versus Julian Assange. Right? Conspi- conspiracy to receive national defense information. No such thing. 
it's he's a publisher. He's not doing it illegally. So again, these are not these are not real crimes. Obtaining obtaining national defense information, disclosing of national defense information. These, according to the judge that we just heard from, this is this is of of dire public interest to know that the nation that we pay our taxes to is illegally engaging in illegal war activity in our name. That is of the highest protection of the First Amendment. And it's not my word saying it. That's now the, this, uh, this new judge is saying it, right? So, so the plaintiff in the civil case, the Democratic Party, has also served as Assange's chief prosecutor with the state apparatus for over a decade. There's some other good stuff in here. The judge labeled WikiLeaks, quote, an international news organization. I just showed you where he said it. And said Assange is a publisher exposing the, lie, the liars in the corporate press who declare that Assange is not subject to free speech protections under New York Times versus the United States. The landmark Pentagon Papers case. The Supreme Court upheld the press, press's right to publish information of public concern obtained from documents stolen by a third party. So whether Chelsea Manning stole the documents or not does not matter. Now, the, the government... Pompeo, who was accusing, see, there's, also, there's already prejudice, right? See, there's already prejudice. The prosecutors are viewing Assange as a hostile intelligence agency. And the judge has just declared WikiLeaks a publisher. So, therefore, Assange, first of all, he can't get a fair, a fair trial. That's one thing that the Brits can look at before they extradite Assange, is that can he get a fair trial in the United States? Absolutely not. It's a kangaroo court because the prosecutors and the people running the show are politically motivated. Right? In, in the case of Pompeo, in the case of uh, 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 Mueller, right? these are, the, these are the, the, the lead. The Secretary of, the, of State, Pompeo, is calling Assange a, a hostile intelligence agency when he is a publisher. That, there's no way that you can get a free... There's no way that you can get a fair trial in America under that, under that assumption right? when you're a publisher coming in, right? So that's, that's pretty clear, All right? So as a legal matter, by granting WikiLeaks motion to dismiss, the court ruled that the DNC had not put forward a factual, plausible claim. So the same can be applied for the, 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 uh, the indictment that hasn't been ruled on yet. It's just an indictment, right? At the motion to dismiss, uh, uh, dismiss stage. Right, let's see what else we got here. I think I think that's really that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to say. I don't want to go too far. Into. So so there you have it. So Julian Assange, it looks like Julian has got a get out of jail free card, based on this latest ruling here in the Southern District of New York. Thank you very much, Judge. Whatever your name is. And uh, to the to the good folks that follow the Julian Assange case, and um, you know maybe the the Julian Assange lawyers should definitely be looking at that that decision here in New York on July uh, you know July thirtieth, two thousand nineteen, where a judge has declared WikiLeaks a publisher, and that the Brits cannot extradite a publisher for publishing material of vital public interest. That would be uh, that would be not a crime. That would be bordering on ridiculous and insane, right? So, for whatever reason, the judge has has now decided, and that it it works to Assange's. Uh, uh, hopefully, he's still well in Belmar in the Belmar prison. Hopefully, he's staying alive. He's he's staying above the fray. We you know we we hope that that's. That's all that, you know, that, that'll come of it, that he did his one year for jumping bail, his 50 weeks or whatever, and um, that should expire, I think, in November of this year. And uh, hopefully we'll see him walk out the door based on, you know, on, on the fact that he's not a criminal uh, in any way. I, and, they, you know, again, the government's going to try to say that, no, 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 he assisted, he assisted uh, uh, you know, Chelsea Manning and, 
in, uh, in, in trying, to, trying to steal the information. He hacked in. There's no evidence of that. There's no proof of that. There's no testimony of that. There's nothing. nothing. It's, a, it's a journalist working with a source. The source was Chelsea Manning. Julian Assange is the publisher. The publisher worked with the source to get the information to publicly disseminate that information because it was very, very interesting to see it. So that's what it is. So Marcus Conte reporting.